Hello, my name is Greg Pallia. I'm with Wash Roofing Systems, and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. In today's episode, I want to talk about the you know variables with metal roofing, roof coating systems, fluid applied roofing systems, and kind of the variables of cost. Um, I was in the middle of writing an article about the variables of a coating system over a metal roof. And you know the obvious ones are if you want a longer warranty, more coating, it's going to cost more. Then I asked the guys around the office, I was like, what other variables happen? And they're like, well, if it's, it depends on the depth of the seams. If it's low ribbed, standing seam, it might cost more or less. And I was like, you know, what are you kind of talking about? And they're like, well, when you price out a coating system for a metal roof, you have to assume the roof is flat because the coating has to go up and down each seam. And so I thought I'd highlight this with a piece of paper real quick here today. So obviously, you know, a piece of paper is 8.5 by 11. But if you crinkle it, you have the seams that are kind of like this. You know, if you put it against a another piece of paper that's, you know, not crinkled up, you see that, you know, it hangs up over the edge there. And that's a good 10% right there. So, I mean, if you have a 20,000 square foot roof, you know, on Google Earth, if you do a rectangle of it, it's 20,000 square foot. Well, your project might be quoted, you know, for buying enough coating for a 22,000 square foot roof, you know, add that 10% on there. Um, so we just thought it was interesting. I never heard it uh, spun that way. Um, but if you have a metal roof and you're getting a coating system, um, the type of seams and the depth of that um, might influence the cost. So just want to highlight real quick. Um, hope you learned at least one thing new today. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.